Hello and welcome to Toneless Painting with M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the painting I'm bringing you today is a study. It's called Riverside Pasture. It's a five by seven. Um, the larger um, uh, version of this uh, image, uh, or I should say the painting that this is a study for, is uh, hanging up in my uh, show currently going at the uh, Fongare Art Museum and uh, there have been a lot of good comments on that particular painting it's a little it's a little different for me um, I think one of the main things that distinguishes it is this sort of yellow sky that I did um, but uh, I was going to share a different uh, painting today um, actually a couple ones but I guess I'm a little behind and on, on um, doing some of my archiving of movies and uh, um, and then the one I was going to share it's missing a huge chunk like uh, the whole first pass uh, which is something that happened to me last week as well it was a bummer when that happens but um, you know we get we get most of them I can't I, I can't complain it wouldn't be right so anyway uh, Riverside Pasture pretty happy uh, this study actually um, deviates from the uh, larger painting quite a bit um, mostly in that the um, these two trees these two vertical uh, uh, trees in the background um, I made them quite a bit larger I did a bit of a zoom in um, for the uh, the larger version of the painting and uh, as you'll see next week because we'll be getting into that then anyway um, we did a, uh, a podcast uh, yesterday for the uh, 25 Days of Tunnels in Volume 2, so we're back on track there. And uh, we're sort of back on track, I guess, uh, today with uh, one of mine here and um, kind of doing the study and then the larger painting thing. And I uh, uh, guess I'll talk a bit about what happened in the studio this last week. Uh, I did about... Um, I got a first pass done on three paintings and they all went pretty well maybe four four if you include yesterday actually um, I was going to the one I did yesterday I had all the uh, the paints kind of pre-mixed in my palette uh, for that on Friday and I just decided that uh, I, I it was didn't have enough in me to uh, to go after it not that I was all that fatigued it was just um, you know it's been a lot of stress and strain with this show uh, which is surprising. I, had, I don't really have that much stress in my life anymore. And, uh, um, you know, I, I guess I deal with it okay. But who likes it? You know, who likes stress? Who needs it? But uh, pretty much uh, all that's behind me now. And um, we're focusing on painting. And I did make a, a good effort to try and get paintings done through the process. And uh, got some, some de de decent work done. Um, done a couple of um, what I guess I'll call yellow paintings uh, or gold paintings these are actually more yellow we'll call them yellow because they're they're more that bronzy type of thing and um, I'm still playing with uh, pushing things in a certain uh, color directions I I didn't really intend to end up with two that were in the same sort of uh, direction at the same you know done in the same um, pass of paintings uh, but ah, whatever they're both gonna look good and uh, once these the thing is once these paintings are done they kind of take on a, a life of their own you know they uh they they stay with me for a while and then they go out in the world and uh people buy them or they they get exhibited or uh um or I decide i don't like them and i paint something else over the top of them or i don't know there's it it's got once it's off the the uh, easel it's it's definitely has its own destiny and um and our time together may be long or short. It's it's funny. Some of my favorite paintings of all time uh, uh, left me very rapidly, and I, I used to be a bit more traumatized by that. But I found the secret to dealing with that is to do a lot of paintings all the time, and that way you're never uh, particularly uh, bothered when um, you know they're leaving because uh, you've got something else going on. Uh, my advice though is to uh, new painters and uh, new students of artists to, to, to always do a lot of work because not all of it's going to be good and um, the more work you do the uh, the greater the odds that there's going to be some good stuff in there and 
the easier it's going to be to let go of the dogs. And uh, that's, uh, well, you can, you can take that to the bank. That's good advice for you uh, aspiring artists out there. And even if you're uh, an experienced artist, you know, um, if you find you're spending a lot of time messing around with one painting over and over, you know, just finish the dang thing. Or probably it wasn't that good in the first place. That's why you just keep messing with it. You're trying to improve it. But there definitely comes a space and time where uh, it's all diminishing returns on the painting. You're not improving it. You're just, you're just moving it around a little here and there. Uh, the exception of that might be is if you, you put it away for a while and then you pull it out and you can look at it with new eyes and you're able to, to go in and fix. If, if there's only a few things wrong with it, you can go in and, and fix those. I, I've, I've tried that, but, but more and more I don't even do that. I'll just, you know, basically I'll, I'll coat it with a, uh, a, um, a coat, uh, you know, a, a bunch of uh, burn umber and then uh, let that dry and then do new painting right over the top. Uh, I think I've got one like that coming up next week that uh, was a failed painting for my last pass. I was so disgusted with it, I, I turned it to the wall. And um, that doesn't happen very often, but, uh, you know, when it does happen, I was like, oh, well, how for this? I'm gonna, I sanded it down and I just painted it over and I don't have to look at it. <clears throat> Anyway, it's a, you know, some people find it difficult to believe that uh, an experienced painter like myself would produce dogs, but, uh, you know, we all do, and uh, it's just really, a, in a lot of ways, it's just a matter of being honest and, um, and uh, directing the uh, quality and flow of your own work, you know, as a matter of fact, I mean, there's a lot of bad paintings out there by, uh, by some people that are considered masters, and, uh, uh, they probably should have got rid of them, you know, because you're going to get judged on that bad painting um, after you're gone, uh, and uh, you won't be there to say, well, uh, geez, I meant to get rid of that one, or, you know, whatever. You're not going to be able to do much about it. Anyway, so all in all, a uh, pretty good day in the studio, uh, or week in the studio, I should say, and um, looking forward to next week. Uh, we probably have about, mm, I'm doing a pass of 10 right now, uh, which is a bit of a deviation from what I've been doing over the last year. I think I've been doing five, but I keep finding myself doing five and then another five. And um, sort of the same old story, like back I, I probably I did this five by seven study, uh, I, I would imagine, um, last month sometime. And uh, I think I did like 14 or 15 studies, uh, 10 of which I decided to uh, realize as larger paintings. And that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good uh, rate. Um, and actually, no, I know I did this, I may have even done this study two months ago. Uh, it's hard to say because uh, Riverside Pasture was probably completed last month. It might even been early in July. It's hard to say. It's hard to say because I was scrambling to get uh, work finished for this museum show, which is a bit of a milestone for me. And now, um, you know, I, well, you know how it is when you, you come uh, across a bit of a milestone. Um, I can't even really conceive or worry about the next milestone right now, but uh, there will be one. There'll be something that comes up that I'll be working towards. And, and one of the things about my approach is that I don't necessarily even need that. I don't need to have a show coming up to be productive. Um, I like to be productive all the time. I just like to keep working and keep momentum going. And uh, if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you'll know that I'm a big believer in momentum. I'm a big believer in working every day um, with the exception of uh, Sunday I work I take Sundays off it is good to have a day of rest and a day uh, where you're taking care of other things and uh, it's it's also good to have a day where you, you, you're coming back in the studio and you can look at things and reappraise them uh, with the you know it's not as going to be as fresh at eyes as if you were gone for a month but uh, it's definitely going to be fresher than if you hadn't taken any break at all and I used to go in on Sundays and do some work, uh, but uh, these days, sometimes I might pop in uh, just to kind of see, uh, look at things, um, uh, you know, maybe on my way to doing some uh, grocery shopping or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I could do it or not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the important thing is to have a, a day off, and um, that's that. Uh, if you follow the uh, video channel, you saw the, uh, or you're getting ready to look at the uh, slideshow I put up of the uh, 
museum show. I think that's a pretty good representation of the show. Um, I took some time to uh, get the order uh, the same as if it, you were actually walking the show. It's kind of like a virtual experience. Um, put some music on there. You know, there's always going to be music um, in the background of what I do, but since there's no actual talking or whatnot, I, I suppose I could have done talking. Could have spent a minute talking about each painting, but uh, you know, I thought I'd keep it kind of more neutral and. Uh, and that's what I did, and uh, it came out looking good, and hopefully you've checked it out. If not, uh, you're almost done with this video, so you can go right back and do check that out. Anyway, I can see we're getting pretty close to the end here. If you enjoy my videos, would you do me the favor of subscribing, and that way uh, you'll be aware uh, when I drop one on you, or two. I do two a week, so um, pretty consistent, and if you like... Uh, consistency and uh, good uh, content then uh, I'm providing it you know also you can go to my website landscapepainter.co.nz and uh, that's a good place you can follow my blog there uh, there's also some paintings up there and a bunch of other little information there um, on the blog there will be a higher resolution detailed version of this painting for you to check out as well as a couple of zoom ins uh, and I, of course, have a, the video there in the blog as well. So I will be back next week, unless uh, for some odd reason I'm able to do a video in the middle of the week. Sometimes I surprise you. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you next week. And uh, meanwhile, I would really appreciate it if you would take good care and stay out of trouble.